All right, so I'm probably the last person to actually do this, but I just haven't had the opportunity to do it before, so here it is. Uh, today's video is going to be the Pentax 35 millimeter macro limited SMC, and we're gonna pit that against the HD version of the same lens and see, is there really a remarkable difference? Is the difference so subtle, it's not worth the upgrade? Unless you have a K3 Mark III and you want to use the uh, custom image mode that was uh, available for the HD 35mm limited macro. Uh, but other than that, flare, resistance, image quality, sharpness, all that fun stuff. Let's just put the two lenses against each other, battle it out, and see who comes out on top. All right, so it was, oh man, it was ridiculously hot when I was out walking around. <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's besides the point. On the left side, we have the SMC 35mm f2.8 macro uh, limited. And on the right side, we have the HD 35mm macro limited. Now, the one thing I noticed is the additional contrast that the HD uh, version does bring out is pretty strong. And I noticed that there were some metering differences between the two as well. Um, let me just take a look here and see if this is one of them. Uh, this one, yeah, so the metering was different. Uh, I did keep them both at an absolute dead even exposure, so dead center. Yes, I exposed it at minus two. I wanted, you know, I just wanted this to be a more, a slightly darker image, not as bright. Uh, I just to try to bring the flowers out. Uh, however, the metering was actually not entirely the same for each lens. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. Anyway, all right, let's uh, move on to this one. And it wasn't the case for each and every single image. Uh, which I found interesting. This one, again, uh, you know, the SMC, again, seems to have a brighter overall image in regards to how much light is actually getting through the lens compared to the HD version. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, um, but as you can see, the rendering is different between the two. Uh, the SMC, uh, seems to be a slight, just very, ever so slightly warmer image compared to the HD version. Uh, and you notice here the sky is, it's more blue. Uh, so it seems that the SMC is more sensitive to the blue wavelength compared to the HD version. From what my eyes actually saw, the HD version actually is more accurate. Uh, the sky, just from all the haze, the sky itself was not overly blue. Uh, so that is one thing. However, uh, let's just go on to the next one here. Yeah, so out of focus areas, they're pretty much the same. There really isn't much of a difference between the two uh, for the out of focus uh, rendering. Uh, you know, bokeh, blur. Uh, I, I didn't bother doing the whole bokeh balls thing. 
Um, I, I just personally just didn't do it. But just in regards to an actual image, there really isn't much of a difference for the out of focus area. They are pretty much dead even on par. And uh, here we'll actually see some contrast differences here. Uh, let's go in 100%. Let's go, let's go. People ain't got time for this, man. Okay. So looking at these trees, the HD version does have much more finite detail. It's not, it's not as soft. Now, if you weren't comparing these side by side, the SMC would be good. Uh, you know, it is sharp. It's a good image, uh, sharp, it's got good contrast. The HD version kind of pushes that up just, you know, a slight, one little tiny twist of the knob uh, for enhancement in regards to uh, very, very finite contrast, micro contrast and rendering for each and every single line for line detail. The HD does have an advantage. It is very slight. Uh, you would not notice if you didn't have them side by side. What you will notice though is ghosting uh, control. So here is the setup that I had done in regards to the ghosting control. Uh, as you can see, I had a flashlight set on a tripod facing directly in towards the lens. I took one shot with the flash off and then, or sorry, with the flashlight off and then took another shot with the flashlight on, focusing right into uh, the front element of the lens to create the ghost, uh, ghosting and flare and all that stuff. And just took shots just to see how they would go. Uh, now, the one thing, even in this image here with the flash off, just from the light coming in from the windows, you can see that this section right in the center, right where this flower pot is, is actually a more ghosty image. And let's actually zoom in and see what the color rendering is here. Uh, so it looks to me that the SMC version of this lens actually is a slightly cooler image. Uh, but it's interesting because not all of that is actually the case. This does seem to be a warmer image. However, on some other elements of it, and here you can kind of see it's not, not the sharpest uh, you know, for the SMC compared to the HD. Uh, you know, people say, you know, it's character, but whatever suits your boat, whatever floats your boat or whatever the saying is, you know, some people prefer the rendering. They say it's closer to, you know, it, it, it's true to the limited uh, expected rendering, you know, the more artistic rendering, slightly softer, not technically perfect. The HD leans more towards the technically perfect side. Um, now, this window pane here, you can clearly see that there is a difference. Let's just go to 45. You can see on for whites, this actually looks to be a slightly warmer image. Very interesting. So it, it's all on the actual color depiction of, uh, you know, the way the lens renders the incoming color spectrum. Uh, not every color will actually be warmer or cooler for each lens. It all depends on how it's picking up that specific color. So I found that very interesting. On one hand, the flower here seems to be a cooler image. However, this window pane here actually seems to be a warmer image. So very interesting. Now let's get into the actual flare haze thing. Now that is a huge difference, huge difference. Look how ghostly the uh, SMC Limited is compared to the HD. Completely different. Big, big difference, big difference. But this SMC is a quote unquote classic lens. So it's sort of expected. 
Uh, the HD version is more clinical. So it all comes down to really what picture style are you looking for in your lens? Both lenses are absolutely capable. They do macro very well. Uh, you know, the color rendition, everything is very good. The contrast, uh, you know, detail, they're both very, very good. In regards to flare control, that's when you see a gigantic difference. So in the regards to the artistic aspect, it depends on what it is that you're really looking for. Now, there is one additional advantage to the HD version of this lens. If you know, uh, custom image mode on the K3 Mark III, KF, and uh, oh, what call it? K1 and the K1 Mark II. Those do have that custom image mode, and I took a test shot. I looked it up. Uh, it's it was released in the winter and with it being released in the winter they stated that uh, it enhances highlights and whites of the snow uh, and it also reduces contrast it just gives an overall brighter image so i was curious how much of a difference so on the left side is bright image mode and on the right side is with funo there's a big difference there is a big difference the contrast is way reduced the color saturation is reduced as you can see here with the red flower uh, and this little tag here see it's not nearly as red it's not nearly as yellow uh, the green pot here is more enhanced with bright versus uh, the lack of green uh, on uh, the funo uh, the contrast and shadow area for this uh, woven flower pot here, or flower pot cover. Yeah, completely and utterly different. Even uh, this plant here, the greens are completely reduced. And you can see even the curtain is, uh, it's a completely different shade. All the contrast has been pretty much stripped out of the image. And uh, even the handle here, you'll notice it is enhancing the whites uh, very, very much so uh, to the point where you can't even see what's outside because the highlights are practically blown out and the handle is just visible compared to uh, bright image mode. Uh, you know, it does have its uses. Again, it's all about the artistic style. That's the whole reason why they put them in. No, I still don't agree that they should have limited it to specific lenses, however, I do get their decision for limiting it to specific lenses uh, because they are designed to enhance those specific characteristics of each one of those lenses. Yeah, so those findings were pretty interesting and that's, uh, you know, I'm just illustrating exactly what I found comparing the two lenses identically across the board in different situations with different lighting parameters and that's pretty much it. So I guess at the end of the day, picking whichever one of these lenses is all really going to come down to your artistic vision and what you're actually trying to gain. Do you want something a bit more clinical? If so, then you would want to pick the HD uh, 35mm f2.8 macro limited. If you want something that's not technically perfect, it's not as clinical, it has more of the artistic flair, um, you know, it's a bit more imperfect in the matter of speaking then you would want to go with the smc 35 millimeter f 2.8 macro limited and those are my findings and that's going to conclude this video if you like the video leave a like if you have not already please do subscribe always helps out if you want to support the channel that info is at the bottom of the description and if you have any questions or comments as always leave them down below i do my best to answer everybody and uh, that's it i'm gonna go you'll see me on my next video i'm out